It messed up his race, and, and quite frankly, I think it's going to mess up the championship for him. The gap is now 30 points, and I know that in previous years, you know, Vettel's made up a 39-point gap on, on Fernando Alonso, I believe it was in the uh, 2012 season. Um, so it's not like the championship is 100% over, but in my opinion, I don't think that Vettel will win the Drivers' Championship this year. He's making far too many mistakes, and against a driver like Lewis Hamilton, you know, love him or hate him, he doesn't make any mistakes usually. He's a very, very good driver, and you saw it in this race why he is a four-time champion, and I think he will be a five-time champion at the end of this season because he hasn't made big critical mistakes like this. Um, if he's had any issues, it's been mechanical or it's been other cars sort of running into him. I think that he has the mental advantage here, and I think he has a driving advantage as well. Vettel's just making far too many mistakes. He has that slight attitude problem that I think all drivers have. You saw it Saturday, what I was talking about earlier, where he was upset about not being on pole. And then you saw it in the way he was driving in that, you know, opening couple of corners. You know, he, he looked just almost frustrated that he had to start P2 behind Kimi. And it's, you know, fair is fair. Raikkonen had the better lap. He's on pole. And he should have backed off a little bit and, un and understood that big picture championship wise, he needs to stay clean especially in that first lap so that he can get a good run at Raikkonen and keep Lewis Hamilton behind him because even if Raikkonen would have won that race and Vettel would have stayed P2 it still would have favored Sebastian Vettel in terms of the championship it would have favored Ferrari in terms of the constructors championship but I think Sebastian Vettel was very selfish in this race I understand that he really wants to win this race you know as a as a Ferrari driver trying to emulate his idol Michael Schumacher trying to win in Monza of course every Ferrari driver wants to do that as well but you can't do these stupid mistakes that eventually cost you a race win, cost you a podium, and a huge gap in the championship now. I mean, with only a handful of races left, I mean, this is, again, the championship isn't over because anything can happen, but he's got a huge mountain to climb, and now he really can't make any mistakes going into the rest of the races. And if you look at Lewis Hamilton, you got to really think the last time he made a critical racing error that resulted in him missing out on a podium or a race win. With Vettel off the top, I can name, you know, France, uh, Azerbaijan, and, and Baku as well. So there's a bunch of these incidents that keep recurring with Sebastian Vettel when the pressure is on. It seems that he's not capable of sort of excelling over top of it and, and coming out against Lewis Hamilton. So, you know, he's a great driver, and, and he's had some really good performances this season. But push comes to shove, it looks like he doesn't have that edge over Lewis Hamilton.